horizontal is independent of vertical. So, there is a beaker, this beaker is left in an open rainy day, the rainy day is there, but no wind is there. Well, in physics we can assume it is raining, but no wind, right. For the sake of our concept, we are assuming like that students. So, it is raining vertically, because no horizontal wind is there. So, rain is falling with the velocity v, v is equal to velocity of rain, velocity of rain, velocity of rain is the velocity of rain, a is the area of cross section of this beaker, a is the area of cross section of this beaker rate of filling of beaker is v into a, well rate of filling of beaker velocity into area. Look students, you may be surprised that I am writing rate of filling of beaker, rate is what? Rate is connected with time, filling of beaker means volume, volume filled per unit time. Even I can prove here with the help of the dimensional analysis velocity into area, velocity is length upon t into l square, it is l cube upon t, this is volume upon time. So, volume upon time is nothing but the rate of filling of beaker velocity into area. Now, second scene, now we will introduce horizontal wind. When horizontal wind is blowing, what happens? This is the velocity when there is no wind this is a wind velocity, I can mark here a vector, this is a wind velocity, due to the wind velocity and this velocity, the resultant velocity is v dash. This v dash is the velocity on account of the wind velocity or I can demonstrate here, this is v, this is v w, you know, v w is a vector which can be slided. So, the two vectors v and v w taken in order, triangle law v dash is the resultant vector taken in opposite order. Well, students v dash is the resultant velocity. Now, you must be surprising what is this theta? Theta is the angle between the velocity when the wind was not blowing and the velocity when the wind is blowing. What do you find? V is perpendicular to the area, V is perpendicular to the area of cross section of the beaker, V dash is perpendicular to the area of cross section A dash, because the rain is falling like this. So, A dash is new area of cross section, V is perpendicular to A and v dash is perpendicular to a dash. What is the angle between a and a dash? That is also the angle between v and v dash, because angle between the planes are equal to angle between their normal. So, v upon v dash is equal to cos theta from this triangle, v dash is v upon cos theta, a dash upon a equal to cos theta, so a dash is equal to a cos theta. Well, what do you find? New, new rate of filling of beaker v dash a dash that is v upon cos theta into a cos theta. So, cos theta gets cancelled, you will find v dash a dash is equal to v a, means rate of filling of beaker before rain, horizontal wind was blowing and after is same. Conclusion. Conclusion is horizontal and vertical, they are independent of each other.